John here. So in this video I want to show you how you can build longer licks by using smaller fragments. And I'm gonna do that by going through this lick. So I'm gonna play it slowly first and if you want the tabs you have the tabs available on my Patreon as usual. You have the links down in the description. But I'm just gonna cover it quite quickly here. Uh, so just follow along. Start here on the second fret of the D string. We're all in A minor slash C major. Uh, even though I hear this lick definitely as more A minor. And we start here on the second fret. Alright, so besides the last sweep here, it's just alternate picking using three different fragments. The first fragment is an ascending 6. And you might say, hey, it's 12 notes here. Yes, that's because it's two ascending 6s here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then this one. And that leads us into the second fragment, which is this Ingve pattern. I've played a lot before, love that one. Also really good picking exercise. I mean, the, the, this whole thing is a good picking exercise actually, but it will be easier to get it up to speed if you can work on each fragment uh, on its own first. So, so far we have two fragments. This one, and this one we're gonna do in three positions total. in total. So we got, move it up, move it up, which leads us to the F note here flat six. Uh, now we're going to do the opposite of what we did in the beginning. We're going to do descending sixes. So, and then do that again from the 15th fret. And from here, I mean, you could continue on and do something like that if you wanted to, but I ended it here by, so basically got up to the root note of the, of the key. So A, And that's, for me, was a good place to end it. So in this one, I basically have three different fragments, all six notes. I have ascending sixes, Yngwie sixes, and descending sixes. And you don't really need that many different fragments to get a cohesive line, because if you change it up too much, you kind of lose that cohesiveness as well. Uh, you know, if you would just change fragments for each beat, that, that can sound quite chaotic. And if you want that effect, go for it. But uh, I'm just trying to say that you don't really need a ton of these initially if you're you know, just getting into fast picking. If you can get, it, get the ascending sixes down, the descending sixes. So just to demonstrate that, if we just use, for example, ascending sixes and descending sixes. So we can go and then I move up on the same string set, down and then up, maybe up again, down. And let's end here on the C note, so... So, as you can see, it's not that difficult to, to get this together quite quickly, uh, because this is not a lick per se that I practice, it's just combining sixes in this case. And anyone can do this. So the only thing you need is that you need to be able to do these fragments individually first, and then you need to know the scales, right? Uh, but if you can see it that way, and if you look at, you know, some of your favorite pick runs from your favorite players, you can probably break it down and see the different building blocks. It might not be sixes necessarily, but you can definitely see different patterns that are just uh, put together in different ways to get whatever effect they're going for. And if you can see it that way, instead of seeing it as like all these single notes, and you can see the pattern and the, the structure behind it, it will be much easier for you to learn it and also to come up with your own. So a good thing to, to do is to just start practicing these uh, different fragments. And uh, I would start with uh, ascending and descending sixes. And that's pretty much what we did in yesterday's video where uh, I showed you a way to get a sequence together. So if you haven't checked that one out, I'm gonna link that at the end of this one. 
because in that one you can see my own system for getting these type of sequences together. The basic sequence that we did in, in yesterday's video was a setting sixes that we start on each string group. So you would go. And then you would do that backwards. So descending sixes. But these still hinge on your ability to go do that and do that, right? Because then you just put them together. Well, excuse the slop in the beginning here, but you, you get what I mean. So if you're interested in learning that, definitely check out yesterday's video and you have a full practice routine there that you can apply to these ascending and descending sixes. And even if you think like, well, I already can play those, you can still use the same structure for your practice, uh, basically doing in a, practicing in a mechanical fashion where you just focus on the actual sequence you're trying to get together and then putting it into an actual scale. So give that a try. If you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, good luck and see you in the next one. Back in the day, I used to have real issues with fast alternate picking when it came to two notes per string. I was fine with three notes per string, but the two notes per string thing was a bit harder to, to crack. So if you struggle with fast alternate picking as well, and you don't know what to practice or for how long, I've created the perfect solution for you in the form of the Pentatonic Picking Power Book. So in this book, you'll find a daily workout that will not only help your pentatonic picking, but will also upgrade your overall alternate picking technique. So it contains basically the same exercises I used myself to develop my picking abilities, as well as numerous students over the years that I've given the same exercise to with great results. So I know these exercises work as long as you put in the work. So it's not a quick solution or quick fix. It will still take a lot of work, but at least you have a very easy to follow routine. So if you're up for a big alternate picking upgrade in 2024, I cannot think of a better start. It's nine bucks and I think it's very underpriced, but I did it that way just so as many people as possible could be helped by this. So check that out.